This is a civil issue, okay? So I don't want you or you to tell me where the fence is supposed to go because I don't care. So so basically, that green line is where the fence is supposed to go? Yes. Okay, that's what's in dispute. There is no dispute. We have the property line. We have the pin. No, we measured issue. over 46 okay. feet. That is not a dispute. That is trespassing. You see that? I'm on a new team, baby. Welcome, son. Thank you. I need somebody over you. I don't give a shit. I'm not calling the deputy sheriff. Shut Lower your voice. Up. Lower your voice. Lower your voice. I'm telling you're you in my, it's going to be. You're in my space. You need to back up. You I need to back you this up. This is a civil matter, and you're continuing and to you need to back me. up. All right, all right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. We have a video for you guys. And a uh, quick question for you guys. We're going to try to answer this at the end of the video. When do police officers get involved and handle civil situations or civil cases? We got to keep in mind something. This cop right here, he's standing on private property talking to someone who lives there, discussing something that somebody else said. He doesn't have a warrant. And when he was asked to leave, the first thing he should have done was turn around and walk away. But he didn't. Check out this video. Make sure you go subscribe to the channel. I'm going to drop the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Make sure you guys let him know San Joaquin sent you. Let's get right to it, folks. Okay. I don't want him to tell me. You can hear this, too. Okay. okay. I want to make sure I tell you both of you this, okay? Okay. This is a civil matter. Yeah, I realize Hold that. Hold on. Let me finish. Because you don't realize that because I'm here. Okay. All okay? Right. This is a civil issue. Okay? So, I don't want you or you to tell me where the fence is supposed to go because I don't care. Okay. I don't want him to tell me where the fence isn't supposed to go because I don't care. So who does oh, that? A court of law. A judge. Okay. So now we have to get it. We court. have to go to court. The only thing I'm here to do is to prevent you and him from beating each other up. Well, in which case, if that happens, if, in which case, if that happens, I'm going to... Acting like yes, children. We're trying to build a fence you so our dogs can run. Neighbors on both sides. We've been here multiple times, and I'm getting tired of it. Because we want to build a fence. Okay. You touch his vehicles, and you're going to jail. Because we want to build a fence. You're going to have to decide this in court. If you can, you call. Vehicles, can you going to can jail. you call a deputy sheriff, please? No, I, will not. I need I'm a deputy sheriff here. No, I'm not calling a deputy sheriff. I need somebody over I don't you. Give a shit. I'm not calling the deputy sheriff. Shut Lower the your fuck voice. Up. Lower your voice. Lower your voice. I'm telling you're you in my, it's going to be. You're in my space. You need to back up. You I need to back you up. This is a civil matter, and you're continuing and to you need to back up. You need to back up. Stay out of my space. If you touch his vehicles, you're going to go to jail. Period. End so, discussion. who enforces code? It's a civil issue that you need to go to court over. Who enforces trespassing? That's a civil matter. So I can trespass on any land, and I won't get arrested, right? So, so basically, that green line is where the fence is supposed to go. Yes. Okay, that's what's in dispute. There is no dispute. We have the property line. We have the pin. We measured over 46 feet. That is not a dispute. That is trespassing. If I had a fence there and they ran over my fence, that would be... Your green line that says where that fence is supposed to go is where the civil matter begins. That's what I've been trying to tell you and you're not listening to me. I'm going to call Deputy Sheriff over because I, I need... Akron, Iowa. A nice place to grow unless you want to build a fence on your lawn. So a quick breakdown of the story. The neighbors keep parking their vehicles and property on this man's property. This guy is upset about it. He doesn't want the other guy's stuff on his yard. And I get it. There's not enough space there. If there isn't enough space on the side of your house to pull your truck and trailer in, if you're crossing the lines of your neighbor's house, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Or maybe you should ask permission and offer them something. That doesn't seem to be happening here. And I gotta tell you, it's getting scary out there when neighbors are fighting. I used to have a neighbor tell me to move my vehicle back so that she could park her two vehicles in front of her house. Funny thing is, we don't live there anymore. Not too long ago, we passed by that house. And the woman is still fighting with their new neighbors about a parking space that doesn't even belong to her because it's in the street. And so you understand what's happening. There's enough room for three cars in between our driveway and her driveway in the street. So when we would pull our vehicle up a little bit to park an extra vehicle behind it, they would only have room for one vehicle, which they used to like to park two vehicles out there as well. There is no room for four vehicles, just three. 
So when my sons would come to visit, sometimes they would park there. One time she left a note on my son's car saying, please do not park here, that's our parking space. The woman truly didn't understand how the laws work. Obviously, this neighbor doesn't understand how the laws work. Property laws. And that neighbor threatened to kill this neighbor if he put up a fence. And that's a criminal act, folks. Terrorist threats is an arrestable offense. But the officer didn't do that in this video. He decided to bully the man that came out with the camera. And having said all that, I gotta say that I understand how hard it is to get along with neighbors sometimes. Nobody wants to let up. But when you're right, you're right. And when you're wrong, you're wrong. And when you're wrong, sometimes it's best to accept defeat. So the property lines are measured and marked. And the man has tried to put up a, uh, a border. And the neighbor keeps taking it down. Because he wants to park his big old giant truck back there on the side. There's a show that my wife and I were watching. And it had something to do with like crazy neighbors. And I gotta tell you guys. It's freaking hilarious. But at the same time, it's pretty damn scary. One time in particular I was watching and a guy put up signs across the street when he threw a party and the signs would say, no dugs allowed. I pretty much fell off the damn couch laughing, guys. I said, who does that stuff? Doug's not invited. <laughs> Doug ended up killing that guy, folks. <laughs> oh, it's not funny, okay? It's not funny. Don't fight with your neighbors, guys. Don't be calling the cops on your neighbors. Try to handle your civil matters on your own. So the guy taking the video is in the right, in my opinion. And he's documenting everything as well. And this is what you all should be doing. Record and document everything. Get some security cameras. And make sure your security cameras have sound, folks. This guy has a couple videos on his channel. And the security cameras don't have sound. That's important. All right, folks, with that being said, I'm going to drop the link to Brian the Dude Larson's channel. You guys are welcome to go subscribe, keep up with his story over there. I really hope that these neighbors find a way to shake hands, and I really hope the other neighbor buys a smaller truck or just decides to park somewhere else, maybe fight with the other neighbor on the other side of his house. I don't know. That's probably not a good idea either. But anyhow, thank you all for tuning in. We will see you on the next video. That's if you subscribe. And you hit the bell so you get the notification. You guys have yourselves a blessed and safe day. Always record the police. Record the police now. Don't wait. If you have a video you want us to look at, send it to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. All right, folks. We'll see you then. Peace.